think I factor this out wrong. Jimmy kind of messed up my plans and set me back about a week, but now I finally have everything in the container and getting stuff into the office, getting stuff on the shelves and getting it all organized is going to be the hard part. Try fit them? Yeah, I was thinking we could glue it as well. The same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rock and roll. I guess we just 
just get those bars set now. Just gonna do like this. So attach them there and there, and then just however we need it to attach to here. But I know, like some bolts and washers. You know, anything shorter in your bolt bolt Tupperware, your bolt bin. for our first attempt. Yeah. We're never having done it before. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We'll not an engineer. We'll let the glue dry tonight and uh, Yeah, that'll help good time. And then we'll cock it up tomorrow. I put this charge controller and wire in here myself, so for as much 
camping as we've been doing lately, I think this setup is better used in my container right now. So I'm gonna grab this. So each panel should be about 20 volts. So I'm getting 60 volts, so should be good. So should be good. So each of these panels is 200 watts. So it's, it's doing pretty good. So I have these lights hanging up in my garage and I really like them. They are a great work light. So I'm guessing most shipping containers come with these rings up in the ceiling. So I just have it hanging from the chains that it came with off those hooks, which gives me a ton of light on this rack here and even in this corner. So it's nice that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, soon I'll have the CNC router and the 3D printer set up, but right now I'm still organizing and going through stuff. But now that I finally got the solar panels connected and wired up, I have them going to my anchor battery over here. And right now I'm just gonna deal with extension cord held so I figure out where I want to put everything and how I want everything laid out and then I'll go back and probably do a bit of a modest battery and inverter setup out here because I don't need much. I might just deal with extension cords and such on this side but on the office side do a little inverter setup so I think that'd be really cool and then be able to save this anchor battery for backup power in the house and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice having light out here. Now I can charge my tools and start getting everything organized. But I'll show you the setup real quick. So I rigged up the panels in series to get the most voltage out of them. So it's a bit of a little cloudy day. So right now we're only pulling in about less than 200 watts and each panel is 200 watts so we should have closer to 600 coming in. But I got the gland installed. It's running over to this corner back behind that uh, bar on the channel down to the breaker. So I want to be able to shut it off that way I can uh, unplug it and maybe eventually swap out the uh, 
panels or something just be able to hot swap stuff around easier with these connectors instead of cutting this. See, I'll show you. So I can unplug that and be able to unplug the panels from the back of the anchor battery. But this came as an adapter that I, I bought off Amazon, so I'll leave a link to that. But I didn't want to cut this. I want to be able to preserve this and be able to, I guess, yeah, hot swap stuff around and rearrange stuff at, as needed. Because this is all pretty temporary stuff in here, so until I figure out where I want everything, permanently mount stuff later. But now I can take this. and then be able to flip it back on. So it's actually running pretty good right now. It's actually really, so it's actually running pretty good right now, but with the awning up over the doors now, I can, but with awning up over the doors, it's actually staying pretty dry in here. Which is excellent day. But so far it's working great, and I'm super stoked and extremely happy with how it came out. So you can see it's all running off that corner and away from the door.